So, welcome to lecture series on matrix analysis with applications. In the last lecture, we have seen how we can find out rank of a matrix. I have discussed that rank of a matrix is nothing but number of non-zero rows in the ignion form of that matrix or it is the maximum number of linearly independent rows or columns of the matrix. We have also seen some of the important properties of rank of the matrix. Now, how it is useful to solve system of linear equations we will see in this lecture. Okay. So, what system of linear equations is let us see. A system of linear equations is a set of linear equations or a list of linear equations with the same unknowns. Consider the following system of m linear equations with n unknowns. You see we are having here we are having m number of equations our equations are linear having same set of same set of variables x1 to xn x1 to xn okay so this system uh, is having n number of unknowns with m equations so this here aijs are known all aijs are known and the right hand side is also known and we have to find out xjs where j is varying from 1 to n, these are the unknowns. Okay. Now, this can also be expressed in the matrix form as follows, you see, if you write A x equal to B, where A is given by this matrix, okay, you see, if you uh, see here, the coefficient matrix is A 1 1, A 1 2 up to A 1 n, A 2 1, A 2 2 up to A 2 n and similarly, the mth uh, equation m a m 1 a m 2 up to a m n. So, this this is the coefficient matrix, this x is x 1 x 2 up to x n the unknown vector and this b is b 1 b 2 up to b m this right hand side. So, this a is also called coefficient matrix, this x is called unknown vector which is to find out, this b is called constant vector or right hand side column vector. So, the matrix representation of a system of linear equation with m unknowns, I mean with n unknowns and m equations is given by uh, this expression. Now, system of linear equations are of two types, is it, it is either homogeneous or non-homogeneous. What do you mean by homogeneous? You see, if, if the right hand side that is this b, if all b's are 0, if b 1 equal to 0, b 2 equal to 0 up to b m equal to 0, then this system of equations are called homogeneous system. And if there exists at least one b j which is not equal to 0, then this system of equation is called non-homogeneous system of equations. Okay. The system of linear equation A x equal to b is called consistent if it has one or more than one solutions. System of equations are either consistent or inconsistent. Consistent means it has solution. Solution may be one or may be more than one. Okay. And inconsistent means no solution. Okay. No solution. Now, a system of linear equation cannot have finitely many more than one number of solutions. Okay. That means, if you are talking about system of linear equations, whether it is homogeneous or non-homogeneous, there are only three possibilities. The system may, uh, may either have unique solution that is only one solution or it has no solution okay, or it has infinitely many solutions. It can never have, it can never have finitely many solutions that is more than one solutions. Uh, why? You can see here you have you have system of equation ax equal to b okay where a is the m cross n matrix x is a vector which is an rn and b is again a vector which is an rm okay now suppose suppose this system has two solutions x1 and x2 are the two solutions of A x equal to B. Okay. 
now if x1 and x2 are the two solutions of this this means ax1 equal to b and ax2 equal to b if it is a solution this means it satisfies the system of equations now if you take any uh, x bar which is lambda x1 plus 1 minus lambda x2 where lambda is any real number if you take any uh, any x bar which is defined like this you take a x bar then a x bar will be a of lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2 which can be equal to lambda a x 1 plus 1 minus lambda a x 2 a x 1 is b and a x 2 is also b from here. So, it is lambda into b plus 1 minus lambda into b. So, it is equal to b. So, this implies a x bar this implies a x bar is equal to b that means x bar is also the solution of uh, the system of linear equation a x equal to b and x bar x bar is simply a lambda x 1 plus 1 minus lambda x 2. So, you vary lambda in r you will get so many x bar satisfying this equation. So, this equation will be having infinitely many solutions ok. So, it this system can never be having uh, can never have finitely many solutions or more than one solutions it will be having if if it has two solutions then this means it, it is having infinitely many solutions ok. Now, first we will consider how we can find out the solution of homogeneous system of equations. Homogeneous system of equation means the right hand side is 0 ok. Now, the homogeneous system is always consistent it will never be having no solution the reason is if you take a x equal to 0. So, x equal to 0 which is a trivial solution always satisfies the system of linear equations. So, that means the homogeneous system is always consistent. So, only we have only two possibilities either it has unique solution or it has infinitely many solutions ok. Now, how can we say when we can say that it has unique solution or infinitely many solutions. This unique solution is also called trivial solution which is 0 solution x equal to 0 all all x i's are 0 and infinitely many solution is also called non trivial solution some x i may not be 0 ok. Now, how can we find out whether the system has unique solution or infinitely many solutions. So, now we can use a concept of rank you see let us consider a matrix of order m cross n such that the rank of matrix is r suppose the rank of this matrix is r. Now, rank of this matrix is r what does it mean? It means that that this uh, this coefficient matrix a are having r number of linearly independent rows or columns because because rank is simply means maximum number of linear independent rows or columns. If the rank is r this means this matrix is having r number of maximum r number of linearly independent rows or columns. Now, here uh, here for this uh, coefficient matrix a number of unknowns are n a x equal to b number of unknowns are n. Now, if r is equal to n if r is equal to n that means rank of the matrix is n n is number of unknowns Th that means what that means you see if you are taking if you are taking a x equal to 0 the homogeneous system a is a matrix of order m cross n and x is uh, x 1 x 2 up to x n ok. Now, uh, this system is either having unique solution as we have discussed or this system has infinitely many solution ok. This is also called uh, trivial solution this is also called non trivial solution. A unique solution means x equal to 0 ok and infinitely many solution means 
x not equal to 0, all x are not equal to all x i's are not equal to 0. Okay. Now, if rank of the matrix is R, rank of A is R. So, there are only two possibilities either the rank is equal to n, or n is number of unknowns, you see n is number of unknowns. Now, if, if rank is equal to n, this means this means this matrix, the rank of this matrix is n, uh, uh, this matrix rank is n, this means the maximum number of linearly independent equation are n. Because the rank is n, this means the equilion form of this matrix are having n number of linearly independent rows. And that means, that means we are having n number of linearly independent rows with n number of unknowns. So, it will be having unique solution and which is a 0 solution or trivial solution. Now, if r is less than n, n okay, r, uh, r is either less than n or equal to n because r is less than uh, less than minimum or less than equal to minimum of m or n. Okay. So, if r is less than n, this means uh, number of linearly independent equations are less than n that is unknowns are more than number of linearly independent equations. So, system will be will be having infinitely many solutions. Okay. So, if r is less than n infinitely many solution that is non zero solution or non trivial solution. Now, how to find out uh, all those infinitely many solutions? You see uh, you can put uh, n minus r variables as arbitrary you can choose n minus r variables uh, give arbitrary value to them and then you can solve the remaining system. Now, let us uh, discuss uh, let us see a few examples based on this suppose you are having this system. Okay. The system of equation is this the coefficient matrix is what it is 1 minus 3 7 it is 1 minus 3 7 second row is 2 minus 1 4 it is 2 minus 1 4 the third row is 1 2 9 1 2 9. Now, how can we see whether this system has unique solution or infinitely many solution because there are only two possibilities because system is homogeneous. Now, this we can find out use calculating the rank of this matrix. So, what is the rank of this matrix? So, what is this coefficient matrix here is the coefficient matrix here is you can see it is 1 minus 3 7 it is 2 minus 1 4 1 2 9. Now, let us find rank of this matrix convert this matrix into its equilion form it is 1 minus 3 7 this minus 2 times this will make 0 here which is 0 this minus 2 times this will be 5 this minus 2 times this will be 4 minus 14 is minus 10 okay. this minus this is 0 this minus this is 5 this minus this is 2. Okay. Now, it is 1 minus 3 7 it is 0 5 minus 10 0 you will make 0 here with the help of this this minus this is 0 this minus this is 12. So, the rank of this matrix is 3 which are number of unknowns. So, this implies unique solution and unique solution means trivial solution and trivial solution means x 1 equal to x 2 equal to x 3 equal to 0 all x are 0. Okay. So, hence we can find out the solution of this system. The next problem suppose we are very having this problem you see here we are having 4 equations with 3 unknowns and we have to see where this system has unique solution or infinitely many solutions. So, you can write out you can write the coefficient matrix the first row is 2 minus 5 8 2 minus 5 8 the second row is 2 7 minus 1 2 7 minus 1 and similarly the other 2 rows. When you find out the rank of this matrix okay, by converting this into its equilion form. So, rank we can obtain rank as 2 okay, rank as 2 and number of unknowns are 3. 
So, rank of matrix is less than number of unknowns. This means this system has infinitely many solutions. Now, how can we find out all those solutions? You can start with this matrix itself. Okay. You can start with this matrix. Uh, what is this matrix? Is? It is 2 minus 5, 8. It is 2 minus 5, 8. It is 0. And then 12, 9. 12 minus 9. And 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. If we are having x1, x2, x3. And it is 0, 0, 0. So, the first linearly independent equation we are having is this equation. The second linear independent equation we are having as this equation. So, you can arbitrarily choose we are having two equations linear independent equation three unknowns. So, 3 minus 2 is 1. So, we can uh, put uh, one of the variable as uh, give arbitrary value to it and find out the values of other two other two variables. So, let x 3 equal to t. So, you can find x 2, x 2 will be simply 3 by 4 times t from here and you can substitute x 3 and x 2 in this equation and find x 1. So, here t is any real number okay, arbitrary value. So, in this way we can find out x 1, x 2 and x 3. So, now let us solve these two problems. What are conditions on a and b such that the system of linear equation this has unique solution or infinitely many solutions. We have to find out the conditions on A and B such that uh, this system has unique solution or infinitely many solutions. So, let us try, try this problem now. Now, what is the coefficient matrix here? The coefficient matrix is minus uh, it is 1, 2, 3, it is 1 minus 1 minus 2 A and it is 2 B 6 is a coefficient matrix. Now, to find the conditions on A and B for which this system has unique solution or infinitely many solutions, we first find out the equilion form of this matrix. Okay. If the, uh, then we can impose a condition on A that when the rank of the matrix is equal to 3, because if rank of the matrix is 3, this means is equal to number of unknowns, this means unique solution. And and then when the matrix the rank of the matrix is less than 3 in that case it is it is having infinitely many solutions so first let us try to find out the equilion form of this matrix so you see it is 1 2 3 will remain the same you will make 0 here with the help of this so it's simply this plus this this plus this is 0 the same operation you will apply on the entire row this plus this is 0 this plus this is a plus 3 you will make 0 here with the help of the first row so, this minus 2 time this will make 0 here, 0. This minus 2 time this will be b minus 4. This minus 2 time this will be um, 0. Okay. Now, uh, now it is it is a 0 element, it is a 0 element. So, it is better to interchange these two rows. It, it, this element may or may not be 0, depends on the value of b, but this is always 0. So, better to interchange these two rows to find out the equilion form of this matrix. So, it is uh, 1, 2, 3, it is 0, b minus 4, it is 0, it is 0, 0, a plus 3. We have interchanged these two rows. Now, for unique solution. For unique solution, rank of A must be equal to number of unknowns. Number of unknowns here are 3. So, rank of A must be 3. Rank of A 3 means for this 3 cross 3 matrix rank will be 3 that means there, there is no uh, row containing all 0. So, so this must be non 0 and this also must be non 0. Then only this will be, this row will not be 0 and this row will not be 0. If any one becomes 0 then the rank will be less than uh, rank will be less than uh, 3. So, this implies uh, a should not equal to minus 3 and b should not equal to 4. Then only rank of this matrix will be 3. So, for unique solution we are having these two conditions. Now, for many solutions infinitely many solutions rank of a must be less than 3. 
Now, rank of A is less than 3. That means there exists at least one uh, uh, row containing all 0 elements. So, this may be having that this is 0, this is not equal to 0, this is 0, this is not equal to 0 or both of them are 0. So, we can write either either a equal to minus 3 or b equal to 4 or both. Then the rank then the rank of this matrix will be less than 3. If both are if both are conditions satisfy the rank is 1. If one of the conditions satisfy the rank is 2. In both the cases the system is having infinitely many solutions. Okay. Now, similarly, if you if you if you try to find out uh, this system, then uh, how can we solve this system? Let us see. What is the coefficient matrix here? Coefficient matrix here is minus 1, 0, 2, it is 2 lambda 4, it is 1 mu 1. Okay. So, first find the equilion form of this matrix again. So, remain uh, leave this row as it is this plus 2 times this is 0, this plus 2 times this is lambda, this plus 2 times this is 8, this plus this is 0, this plus this is mu, this plus this is 3. Okay. Now, we have to find out the condition. Okay. Now, if you want to, if I want to make 0 here with the help of this, so this lambda may or may not be 0. So, I have to take 2 conditions basically. So, basically if lambda equal to 0, then uh, then matrix A will be the McLeon form will be this 0 2 0 0 8 0 mu 3 and this will be minus 1 0 2 you can interchange these two rows 0 mu 3 0 0 8. Now, this this will be having unique solution unique solution if rank of this matrix is 3 and rank of this matrix will be 3 when mu is not equal to 0 then only then only rank will be 3 ok. So, mu should not equal to 0 and for many solutions for many solutions rank uh, mu should be uh, 0 because if mu is 0 if mu is 0, so you can make 0 here with the help of this. So, rank will become 2 and if mu is not equal to 0, so rank will be 3. Okay. So, one, one condition is over. Now, if lambda is not equal to 0, then it will be minus 1 0 2 0 lambda 8 0 mu 3. Now, you can apply one row operation here, you can replace uh, R 3 by R 3 minus v mu by lambda times R 2. So, what you will obtain? It is minus 1 0 2, it is 0 lambda 8, it is 0 0, it is 3 minus mu by lambda times 8. Because we want to convert this into its equilion form. Now, for unique solution, how will you get the unique solution? If rank of this matrix is 3, if rank of this matrix is 3, number of unknowns and rank will be 3 if lambda is not equal to 0 and this is not equal to 0. A rank lambda is not equal to 0 is already there. So, we do not need this condition. So, uh, 3 minus mu upon lambda into it should not be 0. So, this implies uh, 3 lambda should not equal to 8 mu. And for many solution in this case, for many solution this must be 0 because we want rank less than 3. Okay. So, 3 minus mu upon lambda into 8 must be 0. So, this implies 3 lambda should be 8 mu. Now, if lambda equal to 0, the first condition if lambda equal to 0, you see for unique solution mu no should not equal to 0. If you substitute it here lambda equal to 0 then mu is not equal to 0 that is coming from this condition itself. And if lambda equal to 0 for many solution mu should be 0 that is coming from here. So, we can we can combine these two conditions and we can uh, simply say 
that for unique solution 3 lambda should not equal to 8 mu and for many solution infinitely many solution 3 lambda should be equal to 8 mu. So, uh, in this way we can find out the conditions on lambda and mu such that the system of equations are having uh, unique solution infinitely many solutions. Okay. So, in this lecture we have seen that how can we solve homogeneous system of equations using the uh, rank approach. You find the rank of the matrix, if you see that rank of the matrix is equal to number of unknowns, this means system is having the homogeneous system is having unique solution. If rank of matrix is less than n, less than number of unknowns, this means system is having infinitely many solutions. In the next lecture, we will see that how can we solve system of non-homogeneous equations. Okay. So, thank you.